Hey Water Signs, Pisces, Cancer, and Scorpio, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising, and those of you cross-watching, welcome to your Tarot Love Messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what your crush sees in you, okay? So how do they see you through their eyes? Um, what are they most attracted to about you? This is going to be a general reading, guys, so please just keep that in mind. If you're after a personalized tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will be listing my email address just below the video here. Otherwise, guys, let's go ahead, give the cards a shuffle, and let's begin. So take a moment, pause this video if you have to, do what it is that you have to do, but focus on your romantic energy, the person that you're crushing on. We're going to go ahead and take a look at, you know, what is it that they're most attracted to about you. Top row, all major karma cards. Wow, I think this is more than just a crush. <clears throat> okay, whilst it's clear to us that your person is definitely attracted to your looks, okay? This is someone who is very physically attracted to you, very sexually attracted to you. I feel like there's a very strong chemistry sexual chemistry or sexual energy that exists between the two of you it's electrifying it's palpable but i also feel like they're quite intimidated here by your looks as well as your mind and your intellect because this person feels like your physical matches your intellectual and that's a rarity and this person is almost like in awe of you i feel like this is someone who is intimidated by your beauty, your looks, and is also intimidated, intimidated, sorry, by your intellect. The fact that you are able to hold a very, um, you know, a challenging, stimulating conversation. The fact that you have your own opinions and beliefs and they don't seem to, um, you know, they, they seem to be very firm and rooted in what it is that you believe. I feel like this is more than just, it's a very um, special connection because I feel like they're not only attracted to the outside, they're also attracted to the inside. Now, you've got an air of, or an energy of mystery around you, okay? So, which tells us that either your person doesn't really know you all that well. This could be a crush in a professional setting, in the workplace environment. This could be a client. You could be their client. Um, <clears throat> it could be in, if you're studying here. So, it feels like there's this distance between the two of you, okay? Either they don't know you all that well and they're very intrigued from what they do know, you've definitely piqued their curiosity and they want to get know more to they want to get to know more of you. However, you could also be someone who comes across as a bit of an enigma, okay? They just feel like every time they're with you or they talk to you, you kind of just pleasantly surprise them and it feels like they expected you to be one way, but then you pleasantly surprise them because they may have had the wrong in um, not the wrong impression, but then maybe they thought you, for you to be one way, but you turned out to be, um, you know, something entirely different from what they initially thought of you at first. And that turned out to be a pleasant surprise. It's definitely very strong energy of mystery and an air of mystery can be very, uh, it can be a very attractive quality. And I can see that this is someone who is fascinated by the fact that you're <clears throat> an air of enigma, a mystery here. And they definitely want to get to know you. But it's like they can't <clears throat> get close because there's this air, air of intimidation here. I'm losing my voice. Sorry, guys. So if I keep clearing my throat, soz. Um, also, uh, strong feminine energy. Okay, so if you're a female listening to this, then they feel like you're very feminine here. You're very, um, you've got some very feminine and nurturing qualities. And it feels like this person might be an alpha and they're attracted. They're really attracted to that feminine nature of yours <clears throat> however you know you could be a male listening to this and you could be someone who is in touch with their feminine side and this person finds that uh, a very attractive quality the fact that you are in touch with your feminine energy here okay so that's coming up very strongly 
this person can't figure you out and you know what it drives them crazy it drives them crazy in a good way though it feels like they spend a lot of time thinking about you and even when they want to focus on work or um, you know they want to focus on I don't know studies whatever it is they're trying to get their mind focused on here you sort of dominate a lot of their mental space here you come across as very intellectual very intelligent this person feels like you're wise beyond your years um, and that may be because you have been through a lot. Maybe you're a bit of an old soul because they feel like you're someone who is, you've got some old school set of values or traditions about you. They actually like that because I feel like they're on the same page with you here. Um, you're also someone that they can hold um, a conversation with and they find that very rare these days. And the fact that they have that with you, like even if they don't necessarily agree with everything you say or you don't agree with anything they say, they love that you can stand to reason. They love the fact that you can, you know, present and defend your views. They love that about you. They do see you as someone who is very smart, very intellectual, quite intelligent. And again, they perceive they perceive that as a bit of a threat, guys. They do because it's intimidating to them. It's, you know, not only are you good looking, but you're also, as I've mentioned earlier, you know, your um, physical matches your intellect here. So... Someone who I feel like they hold you in high regard. Maybe this person feels like you're out of their league. So if they haven't approached you yet, it could have something to do with that. Maybe this person is scared you're going to reject them. They're going to be met with rejection. Maybe they don't think that they're your cup of tea. You know, that they could be someone that you would normally go for. It's like this. there's this sort of line in the sand around you, if you will. And this person just doesn't know quite how to approach this or quite how to... You know what angle to take um, to take here they feel sometimes you're in your own kind of world though okay they feel like sometimes and that could be because you're very unique you're coming across as someone who's very unique who's an individual but they see that you they haven't met anyone like you before and they see that you're a little different and difference good you know the, the universe loves original originality it sure does um, and they love that about you. They're so intrigued and you're so otherworldly. Or at least that's how they see you. But in a good way. Don't don't take you know offense to that. Because to them it's like, wow, where'd you come from? You know, you you're you're not like the others and you don't think like them. You know, you, you just live you live by your own rules and you play by your own rules. They also admire that. Um, they can see that you have a very sweet, sensitive nature to you, a very caring, gentle side. They can see you're quite in touch with your emotions. Um, they also love, there's something you're very passionate about here. And I don't know if you speak to your crush about this very thing. I don't know, it could be like creative arts, like films, photography, um, content creating, something like that. They can, t they love it because whenever you speak about this certain topic, this creative topic, your eyes light up and you're very passionate about that and they love that they absolutely love that here they also love that you put your heart into everything you do and that you wear your heart on your sleeve okay um have you have some of you cried in front of your crush here or have they seen you crying i know this is a little bit strange but there was a moment that some of you had here when, I don't know, you were crying in front of them or you got a little bit emotional. This person saw a, a vulnerable side to you and it feels like they just wanted to come in and protect you and, you know, uh, just hug you, wrap their arms around you here. They're very curious by you. They want to get to know you. This is someone who I feel like is not only crushing on you physically, but this is someone who wants to get to know all of you, every part of you here, okay? They want to pick your brain here. They want to talk to you. They want to spend you know, summer days and winter nights with you. This is someone who wants to get close, but I feel like they're in awe of you and they don't know how to approach this. Um, they definitely put you on a pedestal and definitely awed by you. So it'd be interesting to see if eventually this is someone who does make a move because I just feel like there's so much tension there between you and this person, but I don't know if they know if they're aware of it. I don't know if they are able to pick on the fact that pick up on the fact that you're equally attracted to them it just feels like they don't know how to they don't know how to approach this that's what it feels like they want you but how do they go about this without necessarily you know um, risking rejection 
Okay guys, and these are your messages. Thanks as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing to the channel. Bye for now.